Hey guys, welcome to The Bite. My name is Jackie. Today's video is going to be on a really simple side dish of tomatoes with a chili garlic paste on top. And we're gonna bake, it and make, bake them in the oven and broil them so they get a nice kind of like a char. This is really great in the summertime when tomatoes are in abundance, they're inexpensive, they're delicious and sweet, and there's so many versatile ways to use them. Uh, my mom's cousin actually came up with not came up with, this is something that they have always done. And she told my mom, and I loved the idea, so I wanted to share it with you guys. So let me show you what we're gonna need for today's recipe. So I have here five tomatoes. I have one that I'm going to chop right now. Some jalapenos, I have a green one and a red chili as well. Bunch of garlic, some salt, and olive oil. Super basic ingredients, if you don't want it spicy, if you've been watching me, you know I like my spice. But if you do not want spicy, you can omit this and you can sub in like breadcrumbs or um, Parmesan or both. Um, but if you want that kind of hint of peppery without the spice, just use a green bell pepper. It'll work just as well. Maybe not the full one, maybe about half of one, but it'll work just as well. So all I do, and you want to start with firm tomatoes. Um, soft tomatoes will kind of almost dissolve. So a firm tomato gives you a really good foundation for something like this. It's gonna go in the oven for a little bit. So I just wanna cut off the top. Do not throw this away. The sides of this are perfect for salads. You can totally use that. And cut them about half of an inch thick. And just lay them on a baking tray lined with parchment paper. You can do them as thick or as thin as you want. Sometimes they'll turn out a little uneven, kind of like this one did for me, but it's all good. So I'm going to take, now I'm gonna keep all the seeds in, but if you want the spice, but you wanna be in control of how much, just remember that, ooh, this one, <laughs> this one made a weird noise. Um, just remember that the veins and the seeds is where all the spice is. So if you want, half the amount, take out half the amount of seeds and veins. Same goes for pretty much any hot pepper. Um, so I'm gonna keep all of them. Mm, maybe I'll take a little bit out. You know, I wanna be able to taste my food too. That'd be nice. So I'm gonna take this out, chop them up, and um, I will show you what we do from there. So I chopped up my chilies and my garlic. So. Whenever I make this, I usually use our homegrown jalapenos, which tend to not be as spicy for some reason. So I keep all the seeds and the veins in. I didn't for this one. I took out some of them because I just want um, a hint of spice, but nothing like to where I can't taste the whole dish anymore. So I've helped out my um, mortar and pistol. I really like to use this because that kind of helps create a pesto kind of vibe and that spread over the tomatoes is like heaven. So to help with the grinding process, you definitely wanna add some salt. And then, um, actually I'm gonna just start from here and I'm gonna I put this over a towel so that way it doesn't make a lot of noise when I'm using the tool. So I put it over a towel and then I just start grinding. All right, so this is starting to create a paste. I did end up taking it out and putting it on my cutting board and chopping it up pretty fine and then adding it back into here so I can create that paste. I'm just more savvy with a cutting board and a knife, if you know what I'm saying. But if you have a really good mortar and pestle and you know how to work that thing, then you work it. So I'm gonna add some olive oil to really just amp up the paste, pesto-like vibe of this and then we are gonna spread it on the tomatoes before they go in the oven. So to me, this looks good. I like the consistency of this. It is, like I said, very pesto-like, and that is what I'm going for. If you like it chunkier, you can stop whenever you like the look of it. Um, this looks like a small amount in comparison to the amount of tomatoes that we have, but we're not gonna be taking a heaping spoonful because this is filled with garlic and hot chilies. So a little bit will go a long way with this. I am just gonna take, I don't know, about a teaspoon, half a teaspoon at a time and put it one by one 
on each slice of tomato. And if you end up, you know, doing a little bit and you end up with a lot extra, then you can just add the rest on or you can add something like this to sandwiches or to marinades. It's delicious stuff right here, full of flavor. So I'm gonna start doing that. I'm gonna stick them in the oven at 350. My oven's already preheated. And then I'm gonna broil it for two to three minutes to get that nice char on the edge of the tomatoes. And then I will show you and tell you some ways that I like to eat them. These look beautiful. I cannot wait to dig in. Now, there's a few ways that you can eat this. I really like this with some grilled fish. It just pairs beautifully with that. You can eat it along with some chicken, some vegetables. You can eat it with mashed potatoes or a baked potato and call that a meal. I also really like to eat it as a sandwich. So since the tomatoes have softened in the oven, you can kind of just take the bread and almost dip it or hummus, which means to basically to dip in Arabic. And we also have a dip called Valet Pandora, which is like fried tomatoes with a spicy chili flavors in it. And it kind of resembles this, but in a different form. Um, but what I'm gonna do is make a sandwich. This is how I really like to do it. So I'm gonna take some Nevenis bread. This is, you've seen me use this definitely many times. Um, kind of like the, Middle Eastern or the Arab version of cream cheese. Um, it has like a tang to it. It's really, really tasty. We mainly eat it for breakfast. So that, okay. I want, you see how that just, see, I like it like this. I like it to the point where it's almost dissolved. This sandwich, oh baby, I'm so excited. Okay, look at that. Mm. It kind of looks like a smoked salmon, but like better. You cannot explain. Mm. Simple foods like this are filled with so much flavor and they're so versatile. I can't wait to dig into this tomorrow and the next day. Oh my goodness. So full of flavor. You get the garlic, that hint of spice from the jalapeno. I'm sure some will be spicier than others, depending on the amount of red and green that you see on them. Adjust it to your liking. Take out the chilies altogether and add the green bell peppers. Take out all the veins and the seeds and you are left with just the, the flavor of the jalapeno. This is, or just do the garlic by itself. It's amazing. You really need to give it a try. Don't forget to tag me on social media when you do. The ingredient list, the directions are on my blog in the description box. And I really hope you enjoyed today's video because these simple things are, they seem to be what you guys enjoy the most. And I enjoy filming them because it, it it's so simple, but sometimes you don't think about the simple things because it's like you want to go above and beyond, but sometimes simple is best. And this is one of those examples. Thank you guys for watching. And we'll see you next time on the bike.